Hey Jordan, what's the score? Uh, it's 20 to 2. Alright, let's go. Game over! Go watch some TV. Alright, let's go. Alright, what are we gonna watch? I don't know, how about the History Channel! Oh, uh, looks good, History Channel. <laughs> Hello, and t today we're, this is History's al his Alive, and we're exploring the Industrial Revolution! Really like the Industrial Revolution, it was it was full of history, it was really cool, it was like from the 18th century to the 19th century, uh, it was really innovating. Do you want some cookies? It like changed the, the transport, the agriculture, the mining, the hey, do you want cookies? manufacturing. Cookies? Manufacturing. Uh, it was major impact on the major impact on the on the classes and the economy. And some of the major innovations were like the steam power, the use of iron and textiles. Shut the f up! What, what are you doing? I'm coal mining. This is one of the, the last coal mines in all of Great Britain. See, because the production of coal has gone up from 2.5 million tons to 250 million tons since 1700. And I'm, I'm using this coal to heat stuff. And fuel, coal is like fueling the revolution. Use it for transportation and homes and factories. So, I have to use what I can, so that I can make a living. <laughs> in previous dates, me and many other women would have produced this cloth in our very homes, like right now. But thanks to the revolution, there's mass production in textiles, which made the demand down and the prices for undergarments, loincloth, and very other highly produced clothing easy to buy to consumers. Thanks to James Watt's invention of the use of steam power, this fueled the use of steam power textiles made by Richard Arkwright, also known as the water frame. Thanks to the revolution in the production of steam power, the production of cotton has increased tenfold since 1770. Steam power aided the Industrial Revolution. What it is, is the burning of coal or wood to heat water. That water then boils and creates pressure and then the pressure powers turbines. These turbines then activate the movement of the machinery, such as this car. Steam power. Allowed for the creation of trains. Oh. Trains. Trains used the engine the coal engine <coughs> to make smoke the smoke then exploded uh, steam technology was also incorporated into the creation of trains <laughs> that the it the first practical train created was 
the rocket, it incorporated multiple advanced designs to create an effective train. It was created by George Stevenson. The rocket was used to show the advancement of steam power incorporated into trains. It was showcased at multiple events and fairs. An interesting thing about the rocket was that it used copper pipe to lead heated water to the boiler. Steam power enabled the revolution. It was used anywhere water, coal, or wood, or fuel could be obtained. The power source was later applied to prime mo movers, steam tractors, railway locomotives, and factories. The concept of steam power was around for a long time before Watt perfected it in 1765, and his innovation 75% less coal than the previous steam engines. Around 1800, Richard Trevithick introduced engine using high pressure steam. These were much more powerful than previous engines. The innovation of steam power made production and transportation easier for consumers to use and factories. The conversion of iron alloy, or from charcoal to coke, was accompanied, however, by a number of new technical problems, which in turn encouraged the development of even more inventions. For example, the use of coke in smelting iron ores required more intense flow of air through the furnace. Fortunately, the steam engine that was invented by James Watt in 1763 provided the means for solving this problem. The Watt steam engine was also employed in the mining of coal, where it was used to remove the, st move the water that collected within most mines. The Industrial Revolution changed the ways by how the world produced its good. It also changed our societies from a mainly agricultural society to one that in which industry and manufacturing was in control. The Industrial Revolution first got its start in Great Britain. It was in inevitable that the country with the most wealth would lead in this revolution. After its adoption in England, other countries such as Germany, the United States, and France joined in this revolution. But along with this great leap in technology, there was also some problems with society. Growth of cities was one of the major consequences of the Industrial Revolution. Many people were driven to the cities to look for work. In turn, they ended up living in cities that could not support them. With the new industrial age, a new materialistic view of the world took place. This caused the need for people to consume as much as they could. This still happens today. Living on small wages required small children to work in factories for long days. The Industrial Revolution was not a good revolution for the planet. For the time of its start, the factories and industry have doubled the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Also, in our drive for consumerism, our planet's natural resources are being depleted at an alarming rate. Pollution by nuclear waste, pesticides, and other chemicals are also the result of the Industrial Revolution. Also, during this time, much international strife was occurring at this time. The American Revolution was occurring at the beginning part of the Industrial Revolution. The French Revolution was in the process at the turn of the 19th century. This is a great time, but resulted in a newly found democratic rights that spread throughout Europe and North America. The Industrial Revolution played a major role in life from 1850 to 1910 and continues to do so today. Well, that was exciting. I really want to knit now. It's why. Hello. Today. <laughs> Just keep recording. Just cut. Cut this out. Cut this out. Hello and welcome to Histories <laughs> of Watt. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Histories of Watt. So basically, like. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's going. Okay. Century and. Hey, hey Jordan, you want some cookies? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> want some cookies? <laughs> but thanks to the. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this this is very nice quality. You just finished it. <laughs> <laughs>
have, just get out. Oh, this is very nice quality. No, he needs. Oh, this is very nice quality. <laughs> How do you shoot a killer bee with a BB gun? It's what? 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 What?